So good morning. I'm here with Tom Rosser, Assistant Deputy Minister with Natural Resources Canada, Canadian Forest Services. Thank you for joining us here this morning. Great to be here, Jill. Thank you. Um, how is fiber playing a significant role in the forest sector innovation system? Well, universities are always critical to any innovation system. They're a source of, um, of, of course, of, of research and innovation. Um, and having that, uh, the, the, the research and knowledge generated in universities shared and applied by other actors in the innovation system is key to making that system work uh, as well as it can. Universities are also critical because, of course, uh, they're a source of students and, and, and knowledge workers for tomorrow. And so fiber is really helping to bring together um, dozens, I think 29 universities uh, uh, in, in involved in eight different networks focused on forest industry research, get them working more collaboratively together than has ever been possible before, and getting them reaching out and working with governments and industry and, and other, uh, other research, uh, others active in the, the, the innovation system, and making the system more aligned and hence more effective than it's ever been uh, before. Um, there's uh, there's uh, always been excellence in the Canadian innovation system, but often it's been siloed. One university or one institute would uh, would focus on, on, on its particular expertise and, and not really work that much with the others. And Fiber is about getting beyond that, getting the university uh, sector working collaboratively together and, and better aligned uh, with other key actors in the innovation system. Of course, uh, universities and fiber are a, a, a source of, of, of the knowledge workers of tomorrow. I understand that fiber has something like 400 graduate students affiliated with it, and it's the largest uh, um, network of its kind in the world. So that'll give Canada a tremendous competitive advantage in realizing the opportunities of the bioeconomy. And of those uh, 400 students this morning, uh, they were treated to uh, one of their uh, predecessors. Uh, from McGill University, Dr. Derek Gray received the prestigious 2013 Marcus Wallenberg Prize. What do you think that, that, that says to our, our future uh, workforce? Well, I mean, it was first of all, it was hugely exciting to be in the room when the announcement was made about uh, Dr. Gray getting this very prestigious prize. One could, uh, could sense the excitement. He received a standing ovation. And uh, particularly among the, the younger people, the students in the room, you could, uh, you, you could sense the excitement about uh, him winning the prize. And, uh, um, his prize is a reminder that, uh, that, that, that we, we have a tradition of excellence in Canada in forest sector innovation. And through uh, networks like fiber and better alignment of that system, we'll make that system work at, uh, uh, even better than before. And if we can do that, there's a good chance that, uh, that some of the students here among us today will be the next generation of Wallenberg Prize winners. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining the Fiber Conference. Thank you. Enjoy.